Hi, my name is Dinny Collins. Um, I put on the event, I suppose I just wanted to have some sort of event to add value to my members, to help them uh, smash through some limiting beliefs. I believe that uh, mindset is so important. It's more, I believe the service we do, we're more than a gym, that my aim is to motivate people and develop them uh, with mental strength a little bit more as well as physical strength. Uh, the event started, I suppose I brought them in, everyone was nervous. They didn't, I didn't actually tell them what they were in for, I just told them it was a breakthrough event. So I got them down here, they were all really nervous coming in. They didn't really know what they were in for exactly. Um, they came in, they seen the cameras, they were even more nervous, they seen the seating that we had set up. Um, <clears throat> so I started off with a little bit of background information. I gave, them, uh, I gave them my story just to tell where I came from, where I started my fitness journey and the struggles I had myself personally. Uh, then I revealed all the wood that we were going to break through and they all got a serious shock when they realised we were actually smashing up timber here. Uh, then we got them trained and we taught them the technique. Uh, we, then we started to write down some limiting beliefs and some stories that are holding us back in our lives. Some excuses we're making when we don't go to the gym or things we tell ourselves to justify us. Uh, eating junk food and making bad decisions in life. We ripped them all down and decided the board we're going to smash through from. Uh, then we flipped the board over and we made some positive commitments. Things that we we're going to decide from today. I'm going to commit to starting this new good habit that's going to move me forward. We talked about who in our life is going to impact as well as ourselves, how we're going to feel when we make these positive changes, and really got them amped up into making the breakthrough. So we had the negativity on one side, and we had the positivity on the other side. Then we got them all lined up, we taught them the technique of how to break through. We had them lined up, we were holding the boards, the lads were coming up, they knew their technique, we got a demo or two. They were focused on, the, on what they wanted to go through. One, two, three, break. They started smashing the boards. And the feeling you get, you could see it in the look on their faces. Once they smashed them boards, you could see how relieved they were, how excited they felt, how strong they felt, how much power. Because initially they're looking at it thinking, I can't do this, I can't break these boards. I, I explained to them that when I rang up to buy the boards, that even the guy that was selling me them was like, what do you mean they're not even trained? They're not, they're not, they're not into karate, they don't have a karate belt, they're just normal people. So yeah, it was well outside our comfort zone. I had full belief that everyone was going to smash through it, and they did. And you could see the energy then after. Everyone was so pumped after getting so outside the comfort zone uh, and smashing through the boards. They just felt amazing. The overall aim for me is just to give something back to the members, just an add value event to, you know, give a little something back to them, make them, uh, and hopefully then some of the commitments that we made, maybe we're going to have a mind shift shift with them, that they are going to commit to them. They're going to realise it was such a powerful event. That sort of, when you do an event like that, it really anchors in your mind, in your subconscious, and it literally can change your life going forward. It can make you make better decisions going forward. Well, the event was set up for, like all my classes and everything, is that I'm set up by people from 18 years old to 70 years old and everything in between. So anyone can do it, just like the way I cater for that in fitness. Anyone can do it to whatever level. I set up the event so that everyone would be successful. The goal of the event wasn't to physically break the timber with your hand. We had three breaking stations. We had one with the hand, we had two with the foot, and then the third one, I had the sledgehammer. And the fourth one, as I explained to the guys, was to be able to ask for help. And that was the lessons that I wanted to get across. That in life, we have this direction that we want to go, and we think we've got to go this way to get there. And when that doesn't work, we go back and sit down and say we failed. But the lesson was to have the breakthrough today. So the powerful lesson I wanted them to take from that was, if it doesn't work with the hand, diversify, adapt, keep moving forward, keep trying to go for this breakthrough, try the foot. If that foot doesn't work, keep moving, keep changing. What can we do then? Let's get the sledge, try the sledge. If the sledge doesn't work, ask for help. You do what it takes to have your breakthrough. You do what your take, it takes in life just to move forward towards the goals you want and you be adaptable. And they were the lessons and the keys I was trying to get across today to my guys.